En honor del mes de la herencia hispana, queremos compartir con ustedes la historia de la mujer que brillaba más que el sol. Good morning, or good afternoon, whatever time you happen to be seeing this video. This video and this book reading is entitled, The Woman Who Outshone the Sun. It's written by Alejandro Cruz Martinez. It is a Mexican folktale of a woman who outshone the sun. The day Lucido Zentano arrived, everyone in the village was astonished. No one knew where she came from, yet they all saw that she was amazingly beautiful and that she brought thousands of dancing butterflies and brightly colored flowers in her shirt. She walked softly, yet with quiet dignity, her long unbraided hair flowing behind her. A royal iguana walked at her side. No one knew who she was, but they did know that nothing outshone her. Nothing was as bright as Lucia Zantano. Some people said that Lucia Zantano outshone the sun. Others said that her glorious hair seemed to block out the light. Everyone felt a little afraid of her because she was yet so strange. There used to be a river that ran by the town, almost the same river that runs there now. The people said that Lucia Zantano went there to bathe. The river fell in love with her. The water rose from its bed and began to flow through her shining black hair. When Lucia finished bathing, she would sit by the river and comb out her hair with a comb made of mystique wood. And when she did, the water, the fish, and the otters would flow out of her hair and return to the river once more. The old people of the village said that although Lucia was different from them, she should be honored and treated with respect. She understood the ways of nature, they said. But some people did not listen to the elders. They were afraid of Lucia's power, which they did not understand. So they refused to answer Lucia's greetings. She would say, hola, and maybe they would just turn. They refused to even offer her, their, her friendship. They called her cruel names and they spied on her day and night. Lucia did not return the meanness of the people. She kept to herself and continued to walk with her head held high. Her quiet dignity angered some of the people. They whispered that Lucia must be trying to harm them people became more afraid of Lucia, and so they treated her more cruelly. Finally, they drove her from the village. Lucia went down to the river one last time to say goodbye. As always, the water rose to greet her and began to flow through her gorgeous hair, her glorious hair. This time when she tried to comb the river out of her hair, the river would not leave her. And so when Lucia Zentano left the village, the river and the fish and the otters went with her, leaving only a dry winding riverbed, a serpent of sand where the water had been. Everyone saw that Lucia Zentano was leaving and that the river, the fish, and the otters were leaving with her. The people were 
filled with despair, with sadness. They had never imagined that their beautiful river would leave them, no matter what they did. Once there had been green trees and a cool breeze, now only rain, no rain fell, no birds sang, and no otter played. The people and the animals suffered from thirst. People began to understand, as never before, how much the river, the fish, and the otters, even the trees and birds had meant to the village. They began to understand how much the river had loved Lucia Zentano. The elders said that everyone must search for Lucia and beg her forgiveness. Some people did not want to. They were too afraid. But when the drought continued, when the water did not return, everyone finally agreed to follow the elders' advice. And so the whole village set out to search for Lucia. After many days of walking, the people found the Iguana Cave where Lucia had gone to seek refuge. Lucia was waiting for them, but they could not see her face. She had turned her back to the people. At first, no one dared to say a word. Then two children came out. Lucia! We have come to ask for forgiveness. Please have mercy on us and return the river. Lucia Zentano turned and looked at the people. She saw their frightened, tired, and tired faces, and she felt compassion for them. At last, she spoke. I will ask the river to return to you, she said. But just as the river gives water to all who are thirsty, no matter who they are, so must you learn to treat everyone, everyone with kindness, even those who seem different you are you are any of you the people remembered how they had treated Lucia and they hung their heads in shame seeing the people were truly sorry for what they had done Lucia returned to them to the village and began to comb her hair. She combed out the water. She combed out the fishes. She combed out the otters. And she kept on combing until the river had returned once more to where it belonged. The people were overjoyed to have the river again. They poured water all over themselves and all over their animals. They jumped into the river and they laughed and they cried with happiness. In all their excitement, no one noticed at first that Lucia had disappeared again. When the children asked the elders where she had gone, the elders replied that Lucia had not really left them. Though they could not be able to see her, she would always be there, guiding and protecting them, helping them to live with love and understanding in their heart.
And my friends, that is the story. A Mexican folk tale of a woman who outshone the sun. I hope that you'll remember this story and you'll remember to be kind to everyone and treat people the way you would like to be treated and the way we all deserve to be treated. Thank you. And I hope that you will continue to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month as we continue to honor all people's history. Thank you, boys and girls, and to all of our families. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.